Hey there YouTube All right, so in this video I'm going to show you how to update the BIOS with the MSI Pro Z690A Wi-Fi. This is a DDR5 version. Now a lot of stuff here so uh, there are some things if you don't do them right this won't work so make sure that you uh, pay attention to the whole video. Now if you're watching this for DDR4 I do have a uh, different version of this you can watch. Uh, basically you could follow along with this but instead of searching for D5 memory make sure that's a D4 alright so let's go ahead and get started I'm gonna search for this alright MSI Pro Z690 a D5 Wi-Fi that will ensure that you bring up this version now you don't see D5 in the title but right here you see DDR5 okay so click on that link and you want to click on support here now before we grab the BIOS if you have any questions about compatibility CPU compatibility or RAM compatibility make sure that you uh, check this out make sure any RAM that you buy for this motherboard is compatible with the motherboard okay so you may find RAM will work but you won't be over to overclock it right so uh, you'll be stuck at, say, 4,800 megahertz instead of getting your 5,600, 6,000, 7,000 megahertz, right? So ensure you do that. Now, for BIOS, um, actually, let's go ahead and click over here. So CPUs, this shows you the various versions of the BIOS. You see this A0, A3, A7, all these earlier 12th gens. They all worked with the original BIOS. When the 12900KS came out, you needed the A3 BIOS. And, and then 13th gen started with A7. Now there's going to be 13th gen locked. And who knows if they will work with this BIOS. There may be another one. But this is the spot where you'd go. As I discussed, memory, right? This shows you what the uh, supported speed is. So, uh, hopefully, you know, everything's good for you all there. Let's go back to drivers and downloads. All right, so as you originally came in, BIOS. This shows the BIOS. Now, they have a newer BIOS here. Um, this is the one you want to grab, folks. So, in a second, we'll download that. But before we do that, when you go in here, you should always start kind of at the bottom. Uh, see, you know, what the various... BIOS versions are what they did all right and you should also know which BIOS you have so you may find hey there's nothing that was added I don't need to update this and how do you go find your BIOS version well you can do that either in BIOS or you can type in sysinfo all right now this computer I'm using is a different computer so uh, it's going to look different, but here is system information. You'll see a line in there, BIOS version and date. And in this computer, that's where it is, okay? So this is not the same as yours, but that is the spot you would do it. All right, so let's go ahead and click download. Now with Windows Chrome, it's down here. If you had Microsoft Edge, you'd see it up there. Regardless... All of these end up in the downloads folder, right? So if you were to click downloads, that's where it's going to end up at. Right click and then left click, extract. And here is your file, okay? So we're going to return to this in a second. This is the actual BIOS file, but this BIOS file is not ready in its current state, all right? pretty goofy right that it's not ready but let's go here to manual and document pull this up and I'm just going to click here update BIOS there's two things I need to show you in here one that we are going to rename this BIOS file okay so there's a section in here updating BIOS with flash BIOS button I need to rename that file to msi.rom okay so I'm going to go ahead and just copy the text. And then I'm going to come in here and rename this. 
and paste over it. So that's all I want to see for file name. I'm going to click enter and then yes. Okay. All right. So I'm then going to take that file. I could cut it or paste, copy it. I'm just going to copy it over to my thumb drive. All right. Now let's talk about the thumb drive that I just copied it over to. This has to be formatted to FAT32, okay? So I'm going to right click here so you can see it. File system FAT32. It should say that, okay? Now, there are some, I don't know if they're rumors or suggestions for manufacturers that you should only use an 8 gig. Um, some people have talked about partition. This is a 128 gig uh, USB 2.0 Gigastone. I hopefully will remember to put the link down below. You know, it's, it's slow. It's 2.0, but it's fat 32 it's worked great i have done um probably nine or ten of these type videos plus the other um bios update videos i do i use this drive a lot so the thing about this one is it's usb 2.0 i i can't get any of my usb 3.0s to format to fat 32 okay so this is very important make sure you can do fat 32 all right and then also it'd be good not to have any other files on here, right? So this is a huge amount of files in here, so I'm not getting rid of it. But know that you should probably just have the one file on there. And the other aspect, this has to be on the root directory, okay? So what does that mean? If we're inside this folder, that's not the root directory. The root directory is right here, basically. If I go from here to here and click on that, I should see my file, okay? So that's the root directory. All right, one other thing, folks, that's important in this guide. Let's scroll up here. And this is where do I actually plug the USB in when it comes time, okay? It's, it's not time yet, but uh, there is going to be a video file on this that's going to help you all out. All right, so... If you have uh, the Wi-Fi version or non-Wi-Fi... Your USB thumb drive goes right in here, okay? It's the same spot here. And here's that flash BIOS button. So in a second video, in a second, we're going to switch over to actual video footage um, showing me updating a motherboard uh, exactly like the one you guys have, okay? It will have this BIOS button and this USB port, all right? So... Uh, take a look at that. If this helps you out, please like, you know, even leaving a comment helps me with uh, getting this video out to more people. Thank you. Hey there, YouTubers. All right, so in this video, I'm going to update this MSI motherboard. A um, couple things. This, this was damaged. I just took off a CPU frame and <laughs> I'm actually looking for the four screw, but try to ignore that part, all right? So we've got our motherboard, and according to the directions, we need to plug in the 24-pin power connector. So we'll do that up here. All right, and then the directions also say to plug in CPU power connector. Um, there will obviously, well, excuse me, there is no uh, CPU or excuse me, no graphics card and no CPU installed, okay? So, here's the uh, CPU connector. And that goes in just north of the, uh, where the CPU is. Let me get this thing to go in. Now, this can go in only one way. And for whatever reason, I'm having more difficulty than I should. Almost makes you feel like we might have the wrong cord. Um, there we go, finally. All right, so you will uh, turn this switch to on and then plug that in, all right? Now, once you do that, here is where our USB plugs in at. 
that'll go in that spot that's the dedicated one and then we'll press this button in okay and that should flash for um, six to eight minutes now we saw that the power supply just came on another light came on back there And so I've done these BIOS updates with Gigabyte and what else do we do? An ASRock. They all have been different. Um, and a lot of things have been the same, right? So you have the button. Most of the time it's on the motherboard. So in a few cases it's been where your I.O. shield is. And you always have a dedicated USB for the BIOS update. Some of them the power supply is turned on, some of them it has not. Um, some of them there's been only one light that flashes, and in this case we have a second light. So if I remember correctly, this is the, oh there it is. This is the MSI Pro Z690A DDR4 motherboard. We also, while that's flashing, I'm going to do a video for the, uh, the Wi-Fi one. I pulled the Wi-Fi card out, but um, that is, you know, what we'll do after this. Um, make sure that one's up to date as well. Now, funny enough, because I have these two motherboards and they're almost identical, except for what one thing, one has Wi-Fi and one doesn't. Um, this BIOS will not work with the other one. So, folks, make sure that you download the correct BIOS. Otherwise, you'll be uh, out of luck. So I'm going to pause this. Um, this should be done in a few minutes. And when it's done, I will uh, hopefully at least pick up the camera so you can see the very end of it. You know, it probably shouldn't matter, but probably not a good idea to have other devices plugged into this, like my... What is this? Alright, so we should get be getting pretty close. Had enough time to eat a sandwich. Um... If that light stays uh, lit, a lot of times that means, you know, it's not working, at least with the other motherboards. MSI didn't provide a whole lot of troubleshooting information. But, uh, you know, this has been pretty smooth. And I almost feel like, you know, whenever I get a new motherboard, the first thing to do is, is check to see if it has the ability to have the BIOS updated like this. And do that before I bother updating, or excuse me, not updating, but uh, before I install the CPU to go ahead and install that new BIOS version. So I said we were almost done. Now, one thing to note um, that we hadn't talked about. The more revisions there are for this thing, the longer it's probably going to take. So early on, it should take about six minutes. Later, when there's a lot more revisions, you're talking eight minutes. Now, we also didn't talk about, you know, before you do this, the weather. Try and do this when the weather's good. Oh, it stopped blinking. Yeah, for a moment, did. So it stopped blinking. For a moment, the power supply shut off. And so we're going to hang with it a couple more minutes. It should have completely shut off. Um, if it was like the other ones. So it did stop blinking. 
Most likely this is complete. I will not release this video, folks, unless I have an updated BIOS. So um, I'm going to pause this and we'll see if this shuts off. All right, folks, so um, this is the first time, like I said, I've updated this MSI Pro motherboard this way. And uh, you can see power supply is still on, that light's still on. It's been uh, way too long for this to not shut off automatically. So I would uh, say the BIOS update's been done once the lights have stopped flashing and we're good to uh, install CPU. Thanks for checking out the video, folks. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.